Hey folks, I'm Serving Glory and welcome to part 61 of my playthrough of Workers and Resources, Soviet Republic. Now we're starting over here at our new food factory. We've got a warehouse being constructed to hold the food eventually, but um, we're going to have to extend this to be able to fill this, the warehouse. Uh, but for now we're just uh, taking in what food we can. We only had the six small fields. Uh, that we managed to harvest this year. So, got a wee bit of food. We'll see us up until the winter, I would hope. And we're using that to supply the food for here. And actually, that's dreadful. We'll put that. <laughs> right, that should be more. Yeah, that's, that's more what we need there. Um, and that's being supplied by this distribution office. For the moment, you're picking up food from the food factory, right? That's fine. So we'll get our lines and distribu just distribution offices, etc. sorted out eventually. I've been saying that for a while. Up here, we have work underway, just about complete actually, on our Primo Sports Hall. And... I'm going to stop taking workers away from here because we've got plenty to do. We've already got this set up and I'm going to reduce the number of workers down to zero. Just come up from the construction office, please. That's done. Let's have just three staff for now. We've got 31 out of 32, 63% happiness. Sport and culture, as you'd expect, uh, are the, the main grievances. Get this all graveled up. So, now that we're not taking workers down the hill, this should only be passengers. Looking for somewhere to pray. Uh, people go to the bus stop to pray. Um, and I suppose I do often find myself at a bus stop praying for a bus. Right, so what have you got? You've taken away 25 workers. I was supposed to... Maybe you brought them up the hill with you. That probably was the case. They probably were coming up to work here. Hmm. That'll be fine, that'll sort itself out. Just needs a bit of time. But you. you no, stop you. Right. I don't really. Do I want you. Yeah, I do want you taking workers up the hill. Look at the speedy Gonzales. Uh, I just don't want you bringing workers back down. You're turning right, yep. you're coming up here with again, 21 workers. I'm going to follow you for a bit and see what you do on the way back down. Again, you're... I guess you didn't unload the workers then. What's the other one? I want to follow you now. In fact, we've only got... well, we've got seven Passengers, you should take them all away. And again, taking back down the workers. Well, that went. it's a bit puzzling you're still bringing up so many workers and then taking them away again. About seven passengers, let's see what they're about. You're going, you looking for prayer, you're looking for culture, so we'll follow you. And I would expect you're coming down here to go to the cinema. But where are you going? Are you going for fuel? Yeah, probably, yeah. Right, and you've been travelling for... Oh, you're still plenty of time.
the fuel station somewhere up the hill or on that road might be worthwhile. But anyway, let's see where Ponikarova goes. There we go and into the cinema. Actually, a good movie. Well, keep your culture satisfied for a long time then. Good. So the, the culture at least is working for people who are that interested in it that they can make the effort. And plenty of spaces for people that want sport. Let's bump up the sellers. Just to three just now. We've got two in there. Yep. Let's get another couple of staff in there and how many kids do we have actually? Fifteen. So that's plenty for now. We'll just leave it at two staff. And that's got nine folks there. A six in there. We don't need that set at two fifty. Get down to forty. And you can come down to ten. Eight passengers waiting. And again let's have a look waiting for you're going for culture. Culture. Pre culture, yeah. There we go. So if you're interested in getting some culture, you can go down the hill. Right, what stopped production there? You're still working away. But it did, the electricity problems put me in mind of what I want to do today. Uh, we're going to stick in a couple of small windmills just to take some of the load off the grid. So let's, right, oh, we've still got another pump out here. Right, we'll need another windmill further along anyway, that's okay. And that's facing the proper direction. Right, is that everything there? It should be. Yeah, so as I said, these are just to take some of the strain off the main grid. Put them in a few places around about. Right, so again, just to cover the industries really, I'm not bothered about setting them out in the cities. But that's probably fine there. And let's get them under construction. Another one is there. And I could add one in up here. And if we look at our overlay, I'm producing 10 megawatts just now. I suppose you've only got uh, 8 workers at that point. We're exporting 12. How much do we need though? So we've got about 0.25 being drawn there. Another 0.25, so that's about 0.5. What do we have another one? Uh, I've forgotten now, that's about 0.5, 0.6. And here, it's one, one point six. Okay, one down here, what's that? One point seven, a bit, yeah, about two point seven to there, two point eight. 
And... Who supplies over here? No, let's... Give me... Give me some... Uh, somebody. Right there. Okay. Right. So we are... <laughs> shut it down, didn't I? We are drawing... About three and a half. So all that just to decide. I'm going to put this down a wee bit further. And if you're operating at a decent rate, that should be enough to satisfy the needs in here. Anyway, we get on here. All the resources for them. this phase, we just need the workers. And let's have a look. Huh. Where are these buses? Are you going out to the wind turbine? So you and you're going up with some workers. No, you're not. You're going up with nobody. And you're going up with nobody as well. Why are we getting workers up there? Well, you're just on your way in. That's why you have no workers. Right, so that'll get that construction underway again. Hopefully it won't take too long. No, that's not good. That must be down to lack of workers. It's a constant problem out here. So we'll load on its, their way in now. Let's start up again. Yeah, okay. I'm going to... I'd like to get you somewhere down about 8. Let's stick it at 10. That's closest. Just make sure that we're not drawing too many workers down there. You've got some max... Now, keep it like that. Something I've not done so far this episode is check in here. 42% happiness, spirituality, lack of ability to pray is the only thing. 43% uh, happiness there. And how many did you... you get 225. Right. We've got almost a thousand workers with higher education. And it's really ramping up in terms of the proportion. It was down about 30, 30%. 30 I'm not getting people flooding in, though. If you can't work due to small children. Uh... What am I looking for? What am I looking for? Yeah, workers taking care of a baby yesterday. There's one down there. What's all this about? We've got two kindergartens. We've got plenty of space. Was there an electricity problem, maybe? That's the only thing I can think of. Up here we had a few people. to increase that not to seven just to three okay you're waiting for steel and there it comes plenty of time before the winter arrives as well so that's all looking good up there and 
we've completed this warehouse, we have. No, we haven't. We haven't even started it. It was the road that we were working on. Right, start it now then. But we've got well, we've got plenty of crops in here. It's very slowly being converted into food. I've got nowhere near enough citizens to run this whole industry. And service sector, obviously. Um, so we just need to... F well, I want to focus in on getting residential areas, but we need to get this up and running in particular. Because... We were down just a thousand rubles. But I don't want to be down any rubles per month. That's a bit better there now. How long are you going to take? A long time. Right. We can leave you there. And... I'm going to add in some more fields. This is only a small farm. But we can get another... Yeah, we can get, get another tractor and another truck if need be. But let's set this up. Uh, food and alcohol. Small fields. And if we... Let's see, let's get the road in first of all. So we'll have a road that runs up here. Doesn't have to be that long, but never mind. Let's get the fields. Small fields. Right. So, one there. One there. Another up here. And let's trim off that. Actually, can you curve out there? No, you can't. Too close. So that's going to have to just continue down there. Up here, we will take a bit back. I'm going to just run straight from there, actually. Don't need to spend anything like this amount of time on a farm road, but it's got to look pretty. Hang on, that's a problem in there that you're curving in already. Right, there we go. And we'll see how that bears next year. You're up producing a slight amount. And over here, you're up as well. Do I want to put another windmill in somewhere up here? I'm thinking about this. I don't think it's ever run out of... Well, it runs out of power if this stops producing for any significant length of time. We'll settle for that just now. See how we go. Our complete up here. May is when? What's the date? Fifth of October. Yeah, let's get this one constructed as well. And allow folks to start moving in here. We're fully occupied in these, yeah. Let's see how quickly folks move in. And I think once this building's erected, then that's us probably going to leave this for a while. 
I could move, or I could add in some more flats over here. Pretty sure we've got the range and the, the from the electricity. Yeah, and water runs out first. But we could probably have another couple of, well, maybe not. A couple of flats over there. Could get another row down in here. But I was never intending this to be very big anyway. Alright, let's just spotted these paths. Let's get these graveled up. Anything else? I don't want to do that when people are so happily using it. Could gravel that. These. Right, there we go. Right, so what's our next big industry project going to be? Still working in the storehouse, obviously, in those new flats. Are we finally at the point where I can build this? We've got loads of steel. Tons. 243 there, another 110 in there. And also, notice that we're now filled up on iron, so that means this should be filling up, and it is. Good. We don't have an awful lot of oil because we export it all so quickly. I think we could probably stand to start building this. 23 tons of asphalt need to be brought in and then another 110 and 62 tons of gravel mechanical components, another 110 tonnes of... Now oh, that's that, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. I think the day has finally come. We definitely don't want to start building that. We've got plenty of beds in there. You've still got enough food for now. Five tons, so forty-seven tons of green. Yeah, so I think we will get to work on this. Yeah, okay. I'm just checking to see is there anything else that I had in mind. I don't think there is. We're going to finally bite the bullet, build this. Anything drawing there. This is working well. Yeah, so water and sewage, I think we've got finally sorted out. At least when there's no snow in the ground, but we've got our snow plows in here. In fact, do I have another no, technical services there? I probably want to build this. Yeah, 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 let's do that. You need a road, don't you? <laughs> so we've got to come in from there. Alright. Get that thing too. Actually, he was looking for... No, we deleted that technical services that we had there, but I thought I had another one with three... Oh, uh, snow plows in it. Did I sell them all last time? There's one there. No. There's no snow plows in here. I need to do something with those microbuses. I put one back on... This line. I think 
Alchemate. Uh, Vico's already signed to that line. Well, start. And the other one might send that up here. Well, no, we're not. Not having a lot of people waiting, but then that's maybe because of this. We need that path. No, we do now. Well, people are trying to get to the bus stop. Six folks living here. And they're getting the bus. And there's maybe the graveling is causing a problem for folk getting from that flat down to the bus stop. Bows without power supply. Not good. That's probably happening down here as well. Yeah. We're definitely going to have to sort out the power grid when this is up and running. Because then we'll need other oil wells up and running as well. Okay. 45%, so that's improved slightly. You're not really getting anywhere bringing in workers. Again, just people not able to work due to small children. Can I make any jobs available? I think we're maxed out everywhere. Even in there. Across here, we're maxed. Well, I suppose we could bump that up a bit. Just to try and create some opportunities for people here. Two prisoners. No crimes being tried. Too many criminals though. Constant problem for us. Okay. How long have you got? Still 500 odd days, but you only need uh, workers, not resources any longer. Take up to a thousand, 1100 workers. Okay, you work away at that. We don't have a bus that runs from there across to here, but you could... No, hang on. Can you actually walk that far? No, you can't. But you can walk here. Do I? Yeah, let's add in workers there. Because then workers can move, go from there to there. And that's where the distribution office pick, picks up, isn't it? The, the not distribution office. Instruction office. Go to here. Yep. Right, so that might allow some folks to go across there, which creates some vacancies here, which allows people to move in here and get gainful employment. Let's see if that works. But for now, I'm going to put in a break. We'll pick this up again next time out. So thanks very much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed this. Please leave me a comment, rate the video, subscribe to the channel if you enjoy the content, and hope to see you again next time. Cheers.